Good morning. I'm so tired. Uh, I've been having problems sleeping, um, as in I'm just not physically exhausted enough, no matter how much I do anything. So I think, ironically, today is going to be a rest day. Like yesterday, I worked out for an hour, I went figure skating, and I walked a lot yesterday and I still was not tired so I had to take a melatonin and of course today I'm absolutely just wiped because any type of medication just whoo I'm trying to avoid it but here we are I love my sleep um so today I have I think it's one of the busiest days this week for me which feels weird because this was a normal day <laughs> before lockdown but now i have a meeting i have therapy and after that i have my first photo shoot of the year <laughs> so i'm gonna try to do something about my tired face <laughs> I just got off of a call that went a little bit later than I expected. I thought it was going to be half an hour. Um, and I have therapy in another half an hour and I have to rush from there straight to my photo shoot. So I'm going to do the fastest photo shoot makeup I think I've ever done. Um, I'm going to start with the Smashbox Photo Finish uh, Primer. And I'm just going to smear that all over my face. Oh my god. <laughs> Primed. I'm going to use the Chanel Le Beige. Oh my God, there's so much construction. Um, the Chanel Le Beige foundation. And I like this because it's not too heavy. Blends in really nicely. Um, and then I'm going to use the Merit Minimalist stick to go over. Um, so I guess there's like two layers of foundation here. And I'm gonna just go. I'm gonna use a brush. Where's my brush? To blend that in. Voila. <laughs> and then we're gonna do a little bronzer so that I look like I have cheekbones because I have a um, round face. Chanel Le Beige Soleil de Tan. Um, I like this because it's a cream blush and then I'm gonna totally counter that by using powder products later. <laughs> um, but I just like the, it, oh my God, I'm so pale and it's going on so dark. This never happens. In the summer, I can just use this like foundation. And I'm using the Fenty foundation brush, which I think you're not supposed to do for bronzer. Oh well. I think that's pretty good. I'm not very good at being careful with makeup. I just smudge things on. So we're doing a photo shoot. I'm using some stronger and more pigmented, pro pigmented products. So on a regular basis, I use as much cream products as I can, but um, with photo shoots, you just powder works better um, with the camera. So I'm using Hourglass. I love this brand. I'm using their ambient lighting blush in dim infusion. Why do people put their hand behind here? <laughs> It doesn't look like it has a lot of pink, but it really goes a long way if you add enough. And I'm just the type of person to just put blush 
not just on the apples of their cheeks, but draw it all the way up because there's highlighter in here too. And I'm using this hourglass double-ended brush. I'm not sure what it's called. Um, this construction's gonna drive me insane. I'm going to put on some of this Summer Fridays lip um, butter balm and it's really moisturizing. I'm gonna have all this extra lip balm. I'm gonna go wash that. Okay, so now that we've highlighted and primed our lips, um, I also really love this Hourglass Ambient Dim Light Palette. It is a trio of highlighters and they're so beautiful. And I guess people normally use this like individually, but I use the pointier end of the brush and I just mix and then I'm going to apply that. Ooh. I think that's good. And I'm going to use the Hourglass Arch uh, Stick in Dark Brunette. And I like this because the actual pencil is a lot thicker than a regular brow. And it actually delivers pigment. So I think I've tried so many different brands of brow stuff and this is the only one that I've found so far that works for me other than this other brand called La Bouche Rouge Paris, which I will do a feature on in my next video. So I brush up my brows. I got a lot of brows, thank goodness. Okay, so that's enough. <laughs> that's enough on the brows. I'm going to go over them with this Merit uh, Brow 1980 brush and I'm gonna brush them up. Enough brows to last me a long time. I'm gonna use a Victoria Beckham eyeliner in Coco. Definitely put too much. <laughs> Better. Uh, I don't think people should follow my makeup tips. I'm gonna do the other eye. People ask why I'm not a beauty vlogger. This is why. Okay, so I curled my eyelashes and now I'm going to apply the Victoria Beckham Beauty Future Lash Mascara. I'm using a lot of Victoria Beckham today. And I'm gonna use their Bitten Lip Tint in Bizu. This one's darker than Sherry, so I save it for the dramatic shoot days. And then to finish that off, I'm going to use this Esthederm Eau Cellulaire. I'm supposed to use this before you put on makeup, but I use the primer and I like that this just sets everything, so. And that is my photo shoot makeup. It is basically the same as my regular makeup, just with a little bit more powder. So I just got home from my shoot and I already feel my face breaking out. I'm so scared because of the um, extra makeup and I'm terrified, but I'm gonna wash it all off and I'm starving. So I'm gonna make myself a very nice dinner. <music> to lighten up later today but I'm going to do a quick 45 minute workout maybe I'll add on after depending on oh that's just me walking into things <laughs> depending on how I'm feeling I'm going to pick up on some emails I was not feeling well yesterday I took a day off of recording and vlogging and I just needed to have a lie down <laughs> I haven't taken a day off in a while um 
And yeah, hopefully it lightens up this afternoon so I can walk down to the waterfront or maybe the beaches, depending on if I want to walk 10K or 12K. <laughs> set right now I am at the garden studio this is the beautiful space that I like to take my photos in especially more editorial shots because I don't have this equipment at home as of yet um, but this is it I'm shooting solo it's just me here because COVID and I like to art direct as well I'm styling this beautiful Jacquemus dress today with this gorgeous bag as well I'm also styling this dress from Love Child. It's such a gorgeous print for spring. I love it. Um, it's like a beautiful, like watercolory green sage blend type of situation, uh, as well as this brown sweatsuit. And that's everything for today. Good morning. Disregard the mess in the background. It is Wednesday. I think it's March 3rd. Oh my god. Um, but today I've been I've been looking forward to this all week. I'm going to visit some horses on a farm, which is why I'm dressed with a lot of horse girl energy here today. I'm wearing a button-down shirt from Love Child, uh, layered underneath this really lovely merino wool sweater from Goop. It's actually navy. You can't really see it in this lighting, but it's so cozy and I love the sleeves on this because I love an oversized sleeve. I paired it with my coach um, saddle bag. I love this and I feel like it's very fitting for the occasion. Um, these frame the Italian jeans, which the quality is so, so lovely. And I like that they're a little bit baggy paired with these hunter boots, uh, which I got last fall and they're a little bit more heavy duty for the mud and any potential ice slash snow. So very excited and I will try film as much as I can. <laughs> <laughs> 